Howdy, I'm Nick. Uh, I'm here today. I'm gonna hang a door uh, on the front of our house. This is a timber framed house that we have been building for the last three years or so. We have used primarily lumber from our property right here that we felled the trees and milled the lumber. And the door is a prime example of that. It's made of fir and pine, uh, things that we have cut down right here. And uh, today, our little audition gets a door. You know, I always cheer for Nick, and Nick's work is always pretty awesome, but these doors really are something special. The craftsmanship is just incredible. If Nick had made them for a client, they would be worth thousands of dollars. I didn't go temporary with this. You know, as soon as you go temporary, it's longer than you think. And if, um, and by going temporary, you're probably choosing an easy option. And the easy options are never the ones that you're happiest with. So you end up living with uh, a option that you're unhappy with for longer than you want to. So I just tried to avoid all of that this, uh, on this particular project and said, I'm gonna make the doors that I want on the house forever. So that's what we have here. Okay, we are going to watch Nick hang these doors, but first let's get caught up on the entire project. Since last time we did a mountain dream home, we've done a couple of things to the mudroom. I think you last saw us putting on uh, trim and siding and getting the outside looking pretty. Um, but we also did a couple of features inside. Uh, we got insulation in the walls. And we also built a steel grate for our little floor pit. So we have a place to go in, scrape off our boots, and continue on. We also uh, got prepared to do insulation in the ceiling. However, I'm holding off on that because we're going to do a little bit of wiring through that uh, ceiling in order to have an interior light in the mudroom and also a porch light uh, right out on the front. So I don't quite have the ceiling insulated yet, but uh, soon to come. So to, to hang a door, the way that I do it okay. is I start with the, the door itself. So this is a little door sweep. Um, this gets pounded into a couple of grooves that I'm going to mill into the bottom of the door. Um, I went to a local uh, door shop, door provider, to get some accessories. So this and the weather strip that's going to go around the door stop um, I can make a lot of things here, but it's nice to have the the uh, accessories that make it all work. That's gonna be great. In building custom doors, I've taken careful measurements to know that uh, the door is gonna fit well. I have it built so that there's an eighth of an inch gap on the left, on the right, and on the top, and a half inch gap against uh, the threshold. So with that in mind, I lay out the hinges on the door itself. The mortises for these hinges does not want to go all the way through to the exterior side. I've left about 3 16 of an inch uh, left in that mortise and that makes the hinge uh, pop out enough to swing past any casing and the door jam. These are four and a half inch uh, mortise hinges. Uh, they're pretty heavy duty. I went ahead and went big because I had already lifted these doors a couple of times and uh, determined they're really heavy. So then what I do is I, <laughs> I lay it all out, I pre-drill a couple of holes, and I'm going to score the line that I'm mortising with my knife with this hinge screwed right to the door. I have often found that I'm happier uh, scribing it and doing it uh, by hand and then cleaning it up with a chisel. Um, it's just uh, faster for me. I depend on my own eye and my own hands uh, rather than a commercially made template. Then I can attach all of the hinges to the door right where they go and then after they're there I take real-world uh, measurements 
where they fall on the door starting from the top uh, and then I transfer those measurements to the door jam, adding an eighth of an inch to create my eighth inch gap at the top. Um, so I mark the top of each hinge going down the door jam and then use a half a hinge to uh, lay out the, the mortises for those hinges using the same offset as what I used putting them on the door. If you didn't catch all that, it's okay. He's got it covered. I got four appendages. <laughs> Why wouldn't I use them all? It's quite possible that we're gonna have issues up top. Okay. Just looking at how it fit before. Yeah. This door mysteriously has a drill bit left in it. <laughs> Carefully remove all drill bits before testing your door. <laughs> I just want to look at it yeah. for a minute, if that's okay. It's really close. I'm pretty happy with the sides. Mm -hmm. Hey, that doesn't suck. Yeah, that's good. Oh, check that out. The coloring, the blue coloring, yeah, ties right in with the the metal. Yeah. Nick made two identical doors, which are just a few feet apart at the interior and exterior. Shut up. <laughs> Arranged in a, a parallel to one another. You're gonna be soup. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Nick made two identical doors. The other one is going up on the inside. These doors are such high quality and so creative. They can only be matched by something else in our house, which is the spiral staircase. It feels like really amazing progress. It's, it's kind of amazing, kind of stunning to watch Nick work at his full capacity in terms of making beautiful things. We have such a wide range of things here in, in our handmade life between things that are very functional and very rustic and so many things that are unfinished. And then you get this kind of diamond in the rough moment where he's able to bring something to completion and it's completely gorgeous. And it reawakens the vision for the entire home. This will eventually be a show home. 
the moment that Nick lies down to take his final rest, this will be an incredible home. We came out here in order to uh, have the house that we wanted. And in order to have the house that we wanted, we found that we just have to sort of make our own decisions and do it ourselves. So with the timber frame, that makes a lot of sense, right? They're, they're great big chunks of tree and they're uh, sort of roughly um, milled into the, the shapes that you see. The doors are obviously much more complicated and certainly more refined. I have a way to do all of these things. They're all in-house processes. Um, and so it felt silly to me to, you know, if we want a nice, bold, stately looking front door, um, and we have this whole pile of tools and lumber, um, it would be silly to me to go and spend a bunch of money on somebody else's doors. We won't pretend that the kids did a lot of work on these beautiful doors. This is high level finished carpentry and also it's about eight degrees outside. But for those who are happy to see our kids, they are doing fine. He's the best dad in the whole wide world. And why do you say so? Because he makes stuff and he hugs me. Okay, but we did make doors and we did install doors. <laughs> So next steps include um, getting this room uh, functioning the way that we want it to. With the doors on there, we can definitely move some coat hooks in there and the, and the big hat rack in there. Um, whether we uh, execute our permanent solutions in there just yet remains to be seen. I do have to move on to a different project. Our, Workshop has not been uh, worked on at all since we did the foundation. Um, we got some late season snow here, so it looks a little different than I had imagined it uh, in March, but uh, we have to move on to milling some lumber for the shop. So uh, I'm on my way to go get my chainsaw mill back. Uh, I had loaned it out uh, because I have a bandsaw mill, so why would I need a chainsaw mill? Well, some of the logs that we uh, have to mill lumber out of uh, for the shop are way too big to go on the bandsaw mill. So I have to start with the chainsaw mill. So that'll be something to look out for. Um, and other than that, we're just trying to uh, get function in the mudroom. There'll be a little bit of wiring. We'll get some interior surfaces going and um, make it fully functional. Just imagine what it'll look like when all the windows and door frames are this pretty. Uh, I'm Nick. Thanks for watching. Hello. <laughs> daddy. It smells <laughs> like daddy in here. It smells like daddy in the hat or in yes. this room? This, I this, bet, I the hat. Does. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. I've been wearing it for years. Hole I'm, in the wall? I've washed there's it. There's a hole. Oh, a hole in the wall.